Daniel in a way by Charles Elias, eighth grade, Greenfield Middle School. Here's a picture of him. What is your hero's background? My hero, Daniel Inouye's background, is in political science. He studied this at the University of Hawaii. He graduated from the University at Hawaii at Manoa with a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science in 1950. In 1953, he earned his law degree from George Washington University Law School in Washington, D.C. What are the obstacles your hero faced? An obstacle Daniel Inouye faced was losing his arm in World War II. He lost his arm to a grenade in 1945. Another obstacle he faced was during the attack on Pearl Harbor. Not a lot of people trusted him and called him an alien. What is the impact of your hero? Daniel Inouye's impact was on Hawaii. The way he impacted Hawaii was by helping develop it. What this means is that he helped with things like building things such as roads and buildings. Also, he helped the state make money. A lot of this happened while he was a senator. It was his mission to help develop Hawaii so that he could make it better as a senator. What is the legacy of your hero? Daniel Inouye is remembered as the highest ranking Asian American in politician history, in U.S. politician history. Also, he was the second longest living senator in U.S. politician history. The things that made him the highest ranking Asian American in politician history was that he was president pro tempore, meaning a high ranking senator of the majority party who presides over the U.S. Senate in the absence of vice president from 2010 to 2012 when he died. Also, he was a member of both branches of the government. How does my deliverable illustrate the life of my hero? My deliverable illustrates the life of my hero by giving examples of why he should be remembered, such as a paragraph which states his impact, also another paragraph that explains his legacy. Finally, it shows a picture of him as a child and as, and as an adult. How has my hero impacted my life? Daniel Inouye impacted my life by showing me to never give up. I learned this from him because when he lost his arm, he also lost his dream of being a surgeon. Even though that happened, he still went back to college to study to be a senator. So thanks to Daniel Inouye, I now know that I should never give up. What have I learned about the qualifications to be a hero? I learned that heroes don't need qualifications. Anybody can consider anyone a hero. No one has to do something like save someone from a burning building or stop an armed shooter to be considered a hero. Anyone or anything can be considered a hero. Thanks for watching. You have no life.